Are you trying to set up certificate-based authentication and you're having trouble getting your head around how it up works? It's actually pretty simple. If you think about it as your driver's license, it kind of makes more sense. So, you know, when you go to a club and you're given your driver's license, the bouncer doesn't know that you are who you are and you have the age you have, but they know that they can trust that DMV that created that license for you. That's basically how certificate-based authentication works. It's created by a trusted authority, either a public authority or a private authority like your company or school, which kind of works the same. Your dri driver's license is either created by the DMV or your school, and it has all the information you might need. So if you go to the subject alternate name, it will actually show you what user is authenticating and all the information you need. So if you're setting up certificate-based authentication, you just have to check the information in the certificate and then check that comes from a trusted authority. So now you know how a certificate authentication works.